Hi, uh, my name is Amber Douglas, and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about surviving organic chemistry. Okay, so I want to preface this by saying that I'm only, I just now finished organic chemistry one with a very, very high but unsatisfying B because I, I could have gotten an A in that class, and if I had watched a video like this, I think that I would have. I know that I would have because I would have just went back in time and been like, hey, Amber, get your shit together, and would have went on to do well. Um, but I'm going to give you guys some tips to surviving organic chemistry, and I hope it works for you. Um, so if you're taking organic chemistry, if you're going to take organic chemistry in the spring or in the fall or whenever you're watching this video, um, you need to know that it's not hard. Organic chemistry is not hard. It's not a hard class. It's not going to kill you. Um, it's going to take a lot of your time. It's going to take a lot, a lot of your time, but it's it's not hard by any means. Um, it's just a lot of information, and the reason why I'm a pre-med student, and the reason why a lot of medical schools uh, like to see how you do on organic chemistry is because it kind of leads into how you might possibly do in medical school, because medical school is just, it's not hard, it's just a bunch of information. I'm not going to say it's not hard, but it's a bunch of information you have to get in a short period of time, and organic chemistry is just like that. You, there's a bunch of information that you have to grow on really fast. I think I learned more in one semester of organic chemistry than I did in two semesters of gym chem and biology. I learned so much. You expand your knowledge of chemistry in such a short time. And if you can't, and it's like a snowball. If you, if you don't stay on top of that little snowball that's turning, I don't know what I'm doing here. If you don't stay on top of that snowball that's turning, honestly, you're going to get left in the dust. And once you're back there, it is so hard to catch back up. It's nearly impossible. I came into organic chemistry with friends that I went, that I met in Gen Chem 1, in biology 1, freshman year. And we're like, together, we're going we're gonna to climb this ladder of science together. And we stuck with each other all the way to organic chemistry. And I had, to, I had to get a new study group. Like, I had a whole group of people that I came into organic chemistry studying with that all dropped because the class was so hard. And our professor was a really good professor. Um, but it's organic chemistry, and it's not—it's not going to hold your hand. Um, let me show you some of my books, and then I'll give actual tips. I don't have any notes, so if I start to ramble, I'm sorry. Bear with me. I will try really, really, really hard not to. Okay. This was our book. This is this is the back of the book. I don't. And okay, no, it's not upside down. It's our book. It has some sort of weird flower on it. Kind of reminds me of something naughty. Um, and then it's like organic chemistry. How valuable is reading the book? Depends on how good your professor is. If your prof our professor was really good at explaining things and he gave us a crap ton of handouts. So I started at the beginning of the semester like highlighting everything and reading everything. Look at that. That's a dedicated student. And then toward the end of the semester I highlighted a few things. Or that's around the middle of the semester. Maybe I stuck with it for a while. And then at the end, you don't see that much, that much highlighting. And let me preface this by saying, it depends on how good your professor is. If your professor is a professor it, um, who, who explains things well and gives a lot of problems, then you're not going to need to read the fine text. But you do need to look at the examples and the practice problems, and I'll get to that in a second. Don't throw your book away or not buy a book. You need this book. You need it. But... Do you necessarily need to go through and highlight every single word? No, you don't. Um, it's not really helpful and it's kind of a waste of time. I would say if you have a good professor who's good at explaining things, focus on the practice problems and the homework. Do not focus on the book, on the textbook words, like describing what's going on. Because chances are if you're going to class, if you're taking notes, if you're paying attention in lecture, then the text, I mean, if you're if you're on top of it and you don't have anything else to do, then go ahead and read the text, by all means. But if you're pressed for time, the text is just going to tell you what you already know. Work the problems out. The problems, actually writing, and that's the biggest thing. Write things, draw things. I know you can picture a cyclohexane in a chair position in your mind, but you know what, you also need to draw it too, because sometimes drawing it in different positions, that can give you a whole lot more context than just picturing it. Um, I'm getting really specific. So like I said, when it comes to the book, you don't necessarily need to read the text. But if you have a crappy teacher, if you're lost, then the text is golden because it's going to help you get caught up. 
if you have a teacher that sticks to the book. Now, everyone knows you have some of those professors who are just kind of out in left field and they kind of test over whatever. And in that case, try and learn as much as you can. I kind of had a professor like that for Kim too. I got a chemistry for dummies or complete and total idiots guide to chemistry or something like that. And I just taught myself the entire subject. I just taught myself everything there was to know about Jim Kim and um, left it at that because he wasn't really helping me with knowledge and or with the knowledge of the subject, so I just took it into my own hands. Don't ever let a professor fail you. Don't I hate when people are like that this this professor failed me in this class. No, you I mean professors can be crappy, but you kinda of failed yourself. It the professor doesn't care about your grade. Like, to be honest, if you're in a big university, you got 200-something kids in your class, yeah, the professor cares about your grade, but the professor is only going to work as hard as you do. And that's if they're a good professor. That's if they're a good professor. If they're a crappy professor, then, I mean, they're just going to come to class, tell you what you need to know, or maybe they won't, and leave, and give you a test. And it's up to you to be like, okay, i got to acquire this knowledge. Ranting. Going to get back on track. Work the practice problems in your book. Don't pay too much attention to the text. And um, write things down. Write, 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 write. Let me, get, oh my gosh. All right, well, I'm not going to pull it out because it's going to be a whole lot of rambling. I would get a stack of white computer paper and two pens. And this is how I would study for an exam. And I would just draw and work problems and work problems and work problems. And I would go through almost like this much computer paper. Just go, and in, in the morning I'd wake up and I would go to class and have to recycle all the paper because I felt so bad. But honestly, that's the only way I managed to do as well as I did in Kim, or Kim 1. Um, like I said, you're going to come with a book. Most times your book is going to come with a solutions manual. Unless you have a really good friend who's going to copy everything down for you, get the solutions manual. <laughs> I obviously didn't have a really good friend. Um, maybe I'll be a good friend to someone else. I don't know. If you, if, you're, if you go to Oklahoma State and you're about to take organic chemistry, you need solution manuals. Uh, switch manual hit me up because this is ninety dollars. The book was like two forty, and then this is ninety dollars, three hundred something dollars. That's just for your study materials. That's not even your model kit. That's not even before you pay for the class. So definitely, organic chemistry isn't a class you want to take more than once. It's a class you want to take once. Knock that crap out. Get the solution manual because solutions aren't in the book. That's where they get you. Okay, so we're gonna talk about study techniques. Oh, this video is kind of long. I'm gonna try and speed it up as fast as I can. I'm so sorry. Study techniques. Like I said, write things down. Um, don't wait before the exam. There's a lot of classes, and I did this. I do this. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do this, too. Um, there's a lot of classes where I don't pay attention. I go to, maybe I'll go to lecture. Maybe I might sleep. Who knows? It depends on how I feel that day. Um, but there's a lot of classes where I don't necessarily uh, pay attention, and then I wait till like, two, three days before the exam, and then study my butt off and learn everything. You can't do that in organic chemistry. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. I don't care if you're the smartest person in the world, you can't do it. I would like to see you try, and, and you would have to get a high A, because you, I just, oh my god, you can't, unless your class is really easy. Um, but no, no, there's no way. Um, and let me preface this, but there's different organic chemistries in my college. There's an organic chemistry for pre-meds and, um, chemical engineers, which is what I'm in, so that's why it's really, really difficult. And then there's an organic chemistry for, um, like, some pre-vets that only want to go to OSU, and then there's, like, other organic chemistries. Like, I'm talking about the hardest organic chemistry you can take at your university. There's no way. You are going to have to stay on that ball. You're going to have to not fall off. Don't get behind. Do not miss class. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you can just read the book and the notes and you're fine. Go to class. You're paying so much money to go to class. Just go to class. Go to class. Um, and I am really bad because uh, if, I, if I don't like a subject, I don't like going to lecture. I really liked organic chemistry, so I didn't have a problem with it. But I hated another course this semester, and I just didn't go. Um, but I made an A. So... I don't know, but you can't do that for organic chemistry. If you do it, if you did that for organic chemistry, message me, tell me what college you went to, what um, what the uh, number for your class is, and uh, I want to look at your professor on rate my professor. I'm going to creep on you. I want to see like how hard this class really is, because if you do that, hey, maybe you're a genius, but you can't really do it. Um, if I could leave you with any wise words, 
as I'm going into OCHEM 2 next semester. Um, you gotta be a little cocky. Don't get scared before exams. It's okay, you'll be alright. And just be a little bit cocky and proud of yourself. I mean, you made it this far, you can continue making it on. Don't be so scared. I was so scared in the beginning and it was pointless. Study, you'll be confident in yourself and be confident in your answers. Uh, don't cheat, obviously. <laughs> just don't cheat. Um, and yeah, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll make it through. And if you don't, if you have to end up dropping, don't be discouraged. Use it as a learning tool. Like, why did I have to drop? What was I doing wrong? What else could I have done to do better in the class? Talk to the professor. The professor will tell you. Like, hey, you did crappy in this area, this area, this area, and I never saw you in lecture. Okay, well, let me complete that and go through again. Don't take the class more than twice. If you fail twice, uh, pick a different career. I'm sorry, I know it's horrible, I know it's really mean, but if you're failing organic chemistry more than once and you're wanting to go on to be a doctor, I, oh, I don't know, unless there's some extreme circumstance, uh, I don't know if you're going to make it, but um, I don't know. Follow my tips, you should do well, write everything down. Uh, it's simple, and it's not as hard as everyone says it is. Alright, thanks for listening to me ramble for like 11 minutes, I'm sorry about that guys. Alright.